Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jordan. I am a pro figure skater and I am currently working and living on board a cruise ship. So today I have a very special guest on my channel. Um, this is the first interview that I'm doing on my channel, so I wanted to interview this very special human. <laughs> so yeah, today I'm interviewing Brian, Hello. my dear friend. What's going on everybody? And yeah, we're just gonna chit chat. He's gonna tell you about his job, what he does on board, and get to know him more. So... I'm excited. I'm excited to be here with you. Have you ever done like a, a sit down interview before? Well, yes, I have. But not with somebody as like cool and popular as you. Stop. Yeah. It. So I mean, you know, I was um, people come on the ship and and they, I've ran into them and they've been like, oh, I'm going to see the ice skating show because Jordan is in it, and I was like, oh, how do you know Jordan? Oh, from her YouTube channel, and I'm like, okay, that's great, but I have a show at the same time, so. <laughs> So come to my show and then go to hers because she does more than one. No, and I was like, Jordan, I, I gotta like, I would love to be, you know, interviewed by you because like, she's amazing, so. You're amazing and that's why you're here. Oh, thanks. So, and we have a really fun dynamic. I feed off your energy. Let's go. Let's go. So, yeah, before we jump into it, if you want to subscribe, if you're not already, it's down below. All my socials and of course I will have all of his stuff linked below as well for you. Um, otherwise, let's get on into the questions, shall we? <laughs> let's go. All right, this isn't pre-prepared, so I don't know what she's gonna ask me, so we're just gonna... Yeah, so I have my phone here. I've brainstormed some questions. Uh-oh, I'm nervous. And yeah, it's gonna be, what's the word? Exciting. Well, of course it's gonna be exciting. Oh, okay, whatever. It's gonna be... Off the cusp, fresh. Spontaneous. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> Spontaneous. <laughs> um, first, just tell everyone your name, where you're from, okay, a hey, little bit about yourself. What's up, everybody? My name is Brian Cheatham. I am from Dallas, Texas, originally, uh, but uh, for the past, I think, 16 years, I lived in Las Vegas, uh, where I was a performer in Vegas, and uh, I recently moved back to Texas when I started this job. Mm -hmm. Um, two, three years ago, and now I'm a headliner uh, for Royal Caribbean uh, cruise ships. Yeah, well, so you kind of already answered my next question, but uh, what is your position on board? Yeah, so my position is the guest entertainer, um, and it's been just a little bit uh, different this season in meeting Jordan, because normally uh, guest entertainers on, on the ships uh, come on for a cruise maybe two cruises. Uh, they don't do long contracts and so that's that's been a really great for me because it was, uh, I was able to stay at home. Uh, so this is the first time that as a guest entertainer I've been on board like living on board for a long time and so that's that's why I got the chance to meet and hang out with Jordan. So it's been a blessing. It's been very special. Yeah, it's been a blessing. But it's also, it's been hard. Mm -hmm. It's been hard too. It's different times. Yeah. Got to roll with the punches. Roll with the punches is a totally different circumstances than any typical contract for especially you, but everyone on board. Yeah. So it's been really nice to have like a, a shoulder to lean on and you really you rely on your friends on board to, to get you through tough times and yeah. constant changes and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean... Can we, is this part of the question how we met or, or is that later, am I jumping the no, gun? I'm go, just gonna go sit ahead. back. No, go ahead, actually so, tell, tell how we, so, how we met. You, you know, tell the it's, story. it's funny because you know, she was saying uh, this is different, different times being on board um, and uh, for myself, I, I, I don't have like a cast. Um, I have the band, but you know, the band is also, the orchestra is part of like the cast as well. So I just kind of like been solo. And it's just me and just in my room. And so for the few months of uh, quarantine and getting prepared, it was getting lonely and we couldn't get off the ship. Uh, and finally we were able to get off uh, at Coco Cay, the private island. And uh, a buddy of mine that I had, had met said, hey, come to the beach. And uh, me and my friend are hanging out. And you should just come out. And I was like, no, I just, uh, I just want to be sad and, and depressed. <laughs> I'm just gonna whoa and oh, oh yeah, I just want to have my pity party and be lonely. <laughs> He's like, no, come out. And I was like, all right. So I did. And I went out 
and Jordan was there. And when I met Jordan, she was just like a breath of fresh air. She was bubbly and happy and excited. And I was like, you are what I need in my life right now. And you said a phrase that day. And I, when you said this phrase, I immediately knew this is the girl I'm gonna kick it with. She said, you know what? I'm glad you came out. Sometimes you just gotta say yes to life. Yes. And I said, yes. Yes, yes to life, <laughs> yes. So here we are. And yeah. that's like so special to me that you remember this, like this saying, because it's honestly like my life motto. It's what I live by. Yeah. It's... And it helped me and just your energy and your spirit, it helped. And especially uh, as performers, uh, we feed off the energy of, of the audience and other people. And so for being uh, in quarantine and lockdown for so long, uh, that was stripped away from us. Um, and so to finally come and start getting back to normal and uh, have somebody with such a positive attitude, it really, really helped, uh, you know. So we, we become like a family on the show. It's true. Yeah. It is true. So um, my next question is, oh my God. <laughs> Disruption, but we are back. You just gotta learn. We learn to go with these kind of things. I mean, we live on a ship, and like, it happens all the time. Ship happens. Ship happens. Ship, ship happens. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So my next question for you is, you're a headliner. So talk a little bit about that. What what that means, and how did you begin singing? Um, I, I started singing. I grew up singing in the church, actually. Uh, since I was a little kid, I've always loved to sing. I I can remember. We have a fireplace in my house and my friends would come over and I would make them like do shows with me. I'm like, hey guys, okay, so we're gonna do a music video. Oh my god, this sounds like this sounds like me but but with skating. Really? Like you wanna play skating on the floor? Like, yeah, let's do it. Like how do you play skating on the floor? But yeah, my friends weren't that excited. They're like, not really. I'm like, but we're gonna do it anyway. And it's gonna be fun. I wanna do it so we're doing it. Yeah, right. That was I was that kid. So I would put on shows and stuff at my house and on the fireplace and I just always loved singing and um you know, ever since I was sick, I've been singing in shows and entertaining since I was 16 years old. Amazing. Yeah, I started it's off your, like it's, a theme it's park. It's who you and, are. Yeah, it's for sure. Your, not just part of your life, it's, it's who you are. Yeah. Bring us up to date, like how did you get your start in performing? You said you lived in Vegas, so like, if you want to talk about that maybe, and okay. then how did you get into performing on ships? So I started uh, performing, when I, like I said, when I was 16. Uh, by 17, I had gotten a job at Six Flags Over Texas, doing shows, singing and dancing. And from there, um, I got a chance to audition for Disney. And I thought, oh man, to work at Disney, that's like the coolest job ever. So mm -hmm. in 1998, they were opening up Animal Kingdom. It was gonna be a brand new Disney park and they were gonna bring uh, the show, the Festival of the Lion King, because Lion King was had just coming out, had come out, and it was huge. Mm -hmm. And I got a chance to go down and be part of the opening cast of the Lion King show that was at Animal Kingdom, and I thought that Amazing. was cool. So I ended up working for Disney for a few years and opening up um, a lot of shows for them, uh, the Tarzan show, Disney show, and the, you know Mickey's Kids of the Kingdom show, and all that fun stuff. And I and I thought. This is great, but I want something a little bit spicier. So then I got, spicy. yeah, <laughs> and we're getting to the <laughs> spice. So then um, I had a chance to go and do a, a show in Japan. Uh, it was called j -Man International. Uh, and it happened to be a, a, sh um, a show that took you takes your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. So that was the start of that type of career, and then from there, I um, went to Cal got a chance to go to California and do some some acting and stuff, uh, which then led me to Las Vegas. 
and uh, I talk about this in my show, uh, so I don't want to give too much away, um, so I'll give you the short version, but when I moved to Vegas, I didn't know what I was going to do, and a friend said, you should go audition for Chippendales. I said, okay, and so I did. I auditioned for Chippendales, and uh, yeah, I just thought I was going to do it for a few few months, and 15 years later, <laughs> um, wow! Uh, yeah, but along that time, I just I was able to, I I became the creative director of the show by the time that I left, um, and and choreographer and singer. So my role That's amazing. In, my you role did it increased. All. I, <laughs> you did it all. I did, I did it all. A star in the flesh, so. guys. Like, come on. So, uh, fun fact: if you go to Vegas right now, you can still see. My numbers that I created and stuff in Chippendales. It's it's pretty cool. Um. Okay. So then, when when did you start performing on cruise ships? Okay. So this was uh, I think four years ago. Um. When I when I turned, uh, I don't want to just say my age. <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> when I reached a certain point uh, of my adulthood, uh, I thought, you know, what's what's next for me? You know, I feel I felt like I had fulfilled everything that I needed to fulfill in Las Vegas during that season, and yeah. I wanted more. I wanted. I felt like I had more to offer the world, uh, and I wanted my voice to be heard. Um, and so I started to branch out, and I started auditioning for other stuff, and got a job uh, at one of the other royal ships, Quantum of the Seas, in the production cast. And I thought, oh, do I want to do this? Because I was like, do I want to like go and do a cruise ship because normally people do cruise ships young in their younger days like in their 20s mm -hmm. like how do they know how old you are yeah 24 24 yeah i'm not 24. <laughs> so to to start wait so you're not i'm not i know right you're not 24? crazy oh my god 27 28 <laughs> I, you know um <laughs> but people start in their the younger days younger years uh so for me to come do this, it was a little weird, but I had a plan. I said, I, I do want to have my own show, and I want to be a headliner. I said, so let me take this job. I never worked on cruises. I said, let me learn about the cruise industry, like what 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 works, what do they like, what they don't like. Let me look at other entertainers that that are doing what I aspire to do. So I took it for that for that purpose. And so when I took that job on Quantum. Um, during that, that 10 months, I studied and I wrote and I wrote my show and I was able to perform it and, and tape it. And then I sent it out to an agent and the agent said, yes, we'll sign you. And the rest is history. And his show is amazing. Like if you have the opportunity to see it, you need to multiple times. Like it's yeah. so good. I cried. You, wait, you I cried. how many times have you seen the show? Um, first you didn't have it on the same night that we had shows because we never had shows. Oh, that's then right. we had the shows same, the same, same day. night. But I think I've seen it four times, five times. That's okay. Uh, that's good. That's a good number. I think, I think I've seen your show. Uh, I think four or five times as well. Yeah, but every time I cry. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's coming, but like. <laughs> Goosebumps, hair on my arms sticking up. Oh, crying. thanks, man. That's awesome. Thank you. Of course. So, like, your headliner, you created it. What is the biggest thing you want the audience to take away from it? Or what is the purpose of the headliner show? So, I, I wanted my show to not be any show. I wanted to have a message, but I wanted them to have fun, too. So, it's like when they come in, I hit them with the fun. I hit them with the Vegas pizzazz and pow and, and, and that. And then I just kind of sneak in, you know, before they know it, just to, some positivity and love and encouragement. Um, oh, wow. I kind of forgot to talk about something that's kind of big. The floor is yours. But, <laughs> I, I was on season three of America's Got Talent, uh, and I made it to the semifinals. Um, and so I kind of talk about that because um, after I got eliminated from the show, uh, I kind of went through a depression. Um, I had already quit Chippendales at that point. Uh, I, I quit Chippendales three, three, four times <laughs> throughout the career, and then I always go back. But I had quit Chippendales, and I didn't want to do that anymore. And then I had just gotten eliminated from the show, and I thought, oh, this show is gonna just catapult me to like mm -hmm. stardom. 
and it did it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what is going on in my life? And, and I, I, you know, I was kind of depressed. And so um, I just had to pick myself back up and dust it off, dust my shoulders off. And look at you now. And then keep going. And so, yeah, and so like, that's kind of like my message is that like, no matter what, there's always a second chance and you can always still do your dream, no matter how old you are or, mm -hmm. you know, just keep going. So, and you yeah. know, if you think one door closes, another opens, that it'll lead you the right way. Right, I'm going to put that in the show. I'm stealing it. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think, I think the, the main thing that was, that motivated me is I'm a family guy. Um, and so, um, I have a daughter and I wanted to do a show that I can bring my parents and my daughter to most importantly, my daughter. And so for her to be able to come and see her dad on stage and to do what I do, that fulfills me. That is like everything. She doesn't well, really understand how cool she, you actually she, are. Right, that part. But I'll say this, when she did finally get to see me on, on the ships and the show, and then everybody was, you know, clapping the applause, she was like, oh, maybe my dad is cool. But then I talk about her during the show, and so after the show, everybody was going up to her and wanted to meet her and talk She's to her like, and take pictures right so then i became <laughs> second fiddle so i was like okay wait a minute what's going on <laughs> like, mm, 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 mm. back to me back to me no if there's anybody that can steal my spotlight it's 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 zoe so yeah, yeah she's awesome what is next for you you said a typical contract usually is not like a, <clears throat> you're not on board for a long period of time here you've been it's been five months five, almost mm, five months yeah so are you going to another ship or what's happening? Yeah, so I'm excited. I get to go home for uh, two weeks and going to see Zoe, yes. And then I am joining another ship. I'll be joining uh, Liberty of the Seas, uh, which I'm very, very excited because it is out of Galveston, Texas, which is about three hours from, from where I live. So I get to be closer to home, closer to family. Um, and that's just, it's just been, it, that's just amazing. Mm -hmm. Like I, I literally am living my, my dream right now. And I have some other projects that I'm working on um, that I won't stay say. Stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> um, but this, this next season of my life is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to do other projects as I'm well. I'm very excited about this project. Yeah. Oh yeah, so come see me on Liberty. Yes, if you cruise on, if you cruise, if you cruise on Liberty, he will be there starting? Uh, October the 3rd. October 3rd through 3rd. December 19th. I'm uh, gonna take uh, Christmas off, and then I don't know where I will be come January. Who knows what, you know, who knows if they'll still do long contracts or if yeah. they'll do, you know, a week, a week, a week on, week off. Yeah. Um, so just, you know, I always keep everybody up to date on my, on my social media, so. Yeah. And but I gotta say this. Yes. It has been exciting to actually build a home here. So like, kind of like, like a residency. Well, that's thing. like that's one of the things I love about ships so much. I mean, there's a ton of things, but my favorite thing about working on ships is is the people you meet, the yeah. friends you make. It's not just friends; it's it's your family. You know, like you know someone a month, and it feels like forever yeah. because you see them every almost every second of every day, yeah. and like you know, you can only go forward to app. Like, there's only so many places <laughs> you go, especially now with with us not having shore leave and stuff like that. Oh, so you man. you yeah. really settle in, and and you. It, it becomes your house. Like you, you're here longer than. I'm you gonna are miss home. you guys. I'm gonna miss you so much. We will miss you. I'm having like anxiety a little bit. I'm a little. I'm sad a little bit. I'm sad too. Yeah, but I get to get off the ship though. You know, I, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, <laughs> you can kiss. The, you can yeah. kiss the ground if you want. <laughs> what is your favorite memory from this contract? If you have one specific that you can remember, do share. Uh, I think my favorite memory from the contract would be my birthday. I was really nervous about celebrating my birthday alone and not really, you know, be able with my family. Um, and just the cast coming together and all my friends coming together. We were able to go to Coco Cay, we went to the water park, I spent the day there, had a wonderful dinner and had like um, an evening out and I just felt the love. I felt the love from all of my friends like the whole week. So it was amazing. We even had a, uh, we celebrated a birthday in the same week. Mm -hmm. So like, it was like a great week. And believe it or not, he's not a Leo. He <laughs> serves very much Leo energy. But you're like a Leo cusp. Yeah, you're cancer, you're the end of cancer. No. Almost Leo, so. 
That's why we vibe. That's why we're so alike, because I'm like the very beginning of Lee, you're the very end of Cancer. So yeah. Like, pretty and much. we were gonna, we were actually going to have like a joint birthday. We were so excited about it. And then. Good morning, Bob. <laughs> okay. My last question for you is where do you see yourself in five years from now? Uh, in five years, I see myself um, directing and producing uh, shows uh, for cruise ships and for theaters and uh, maybe having my own theater, having my own production company. Um, but there's a lot in here mm -hmm. that I gotta get out and uh, I'm ready to show the world what I got, baby. Yeah! Well, <laughs> I feel like I'm like the host of like Ellen. <laughs> I'm the new Ellen DeGeneres. I've never done an interview before. This is so fun. This is great. Was like, it okay? I'm so glad that my first one was you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. If man. there's anything else you want to share with the world, with the internet, please do so. And make sure to tell them your, like, all your social medias or okay. if you're on Spotify, Apple Music. Yeah, guys. So, YouTube. yeah, it's just my name, Brian Cheatham, B R Y A N C H E A T H A M. Uh, do me a favor though, um, I love making music videos and I was able to use the talent on board and and I just, man, that was that was so exciting. So go to YouTube, go to my YouTube page and subscribe and check out my videos and my music. Um, and you don't have to buy the music, just go to YouTube, just enjoy it. I make music because I enjoy it and I want you to enjoy it. I don't want your money, keep it, keep your money. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. With Thank me. you. I appreciate it. I love you. I'm gonna miss you. A lot. I love you, and I miss. I'm gonna. I already Aww. miss you. You haven't even left yet. Oh. Make sure you check out everything below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you want me to do more interviews in the future, let me know. <laughs> she did great. She did really good. Thank you. Yeah. I tried. I tried to prepare. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe if you're not already. Otherwise, I will see you next week for another video. So, bye. Toodaloo for now. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Goodbye. <Woo! laughs>